Stage number two is presenting, right? Presenting the information. Share, share with your prospect the power of I Am Mastery Academy. Zoom presentations, physical presentations, recorded videos. I know everyone in here has got a system you guys plug into, whether it's, you know, Guamans or Luz or Manny's or Darwin, Jason Matt, whoever you're, you know, really fads, whoever you're super plugged into, guess what? Use the videos, use the system, use the recorded presentations, okay? When you're doing a one-on-one or a two-on-one or a presentation, all right? They're sitting there the whole time and they're thinking one thing. Can I do what this guy or girl is doing? Is it real? Can I do it? Should I do it? Do I believe in myself enough to do it? All right? What's in it for me? Is it real? That's why you want to highlight the system, right? You're making the system and the products the superstar. Make the products the superstar. Okay? Not everybody is going is, is to be able to present like you. Not everyone's going to be able to have the charisma and the voice inflections and the stories and the great public speaking. So make sure that they know they can build this business by just point, click, point, click, point, click. So here we go. Now we're going to talk about presenting. Because listen, here's the deal. If you can get, if you can open a prospect and present and close, you will always be bringing in new people into your organization. Would you agree? If you can do that, if you can do that, it doesn't matter well, my sponsor doesn't help me. My upline won't answer me back. You have to get to the point where you're going to do it anyway. Because some of your sponsors, whoever they are, some of them will quit. Some of them will go super part-time. Some of them, you will not be a priority to them. So guess what? You have to become your own upline. You have to become your own sponsor, right? So we're going to talk about understanding and in and influencing, right? Identification is everything. You need to identify the room you're talking to or the Zoom you're talking to or the leaders you're talking to. You have to identify what's going on in people's lives, right? So here's the deal. If you're following up with prospects, you need to know. If you're following up with Jimmy, you need to know why Jimmy is going to do what it is you're doing. You need to identify what's going on in their life. Why do they need to learn how to trade? Why do they need to learn how to build residual income, right? Because you're opening them up to something different. This is something different. I tell people, hey, over the next 30 minutes, guess what? You're going to get some information, and it's going to be different information than what you've been given your entire life. Because no one's ever been taught how to multiply money or anything really about goal achievement and success. So let them know, hey, man, this is going to be different. But if 3% of the world owe 97% of all the money, I would say different is what? Better. Okay? So open them up. Because decision making is, guess what? 20% logical, 80% emotional. That's not my numbers. But they saw something, they felt something, and they said, you know what? I'm going to do what these guys are doing, these girls are doing, because guess what? I want to change my life. But the point is, that you get someone to say yes over and over and over and over and over again, it builds a habit in their brain, and they're more inclined to say yes when you say let's get you started, right? So get them in the yes mode. Number six, we talked about this. Remove the objections. I don't have time. I don't have money. I don't understand it. I don't believe it. My buddy signed up in this bot company, and it was a scam. Number seven, boom. What's in it for me? Okay? When you're talking to a prospect or a guest, there's something on their forehead. W-I-I-F-M. W-I-I-F-M. They're thinking, what are they thinking? What's in it for me? Human beings are naturally selfish creatures. So you have to talk in their language. Tell them what's in it for them. Tell them how their life is going to change. Right? Number eight, use voice inflection. We know that. And this is big, right? Every presentation you do, wants to do you want to do three things. You want to educate, entertain, and inspire. Make fun of yourself, man. That's why I tell everybody, yeah, I got kicked out of the business school. I'm not that smart. Even if you're super smart, don't tell people, I have a master's degree. I was the honor roll student in the whole world. I'm the smartest person ever. My parents are rocket scientists. They're like, dude, okay, I, I can't do what you're doing. You want to be relatable. Relatable. In smaller presentations, you don't even want to show up as this big 
great public speaker, because then they're going to be like, dude, good for you, man. I can't do what you just did, Matt or Jason. I can't speak like you. Are you out of your mind? You want to be relatable down to earth so people can say, you know what, man, I can do what, I can do what this guy's doing because I can do what he's doing, right? So here we go. I'm going to run through this quick. I know, we're, I know we're rocking right now, all right? Number 10, I just said that. Make fun of yourself before the prospect does. Number 11, promote for the next event always. What are you pointing towards? What are you driving towards? So promote. Everybody say promote. promote. Promoters make more money than the fighters. Promote. Be a great promoter. Promote, promote, promote. Right? Number 12, huge, right? People do not care what you have done, but they care where you are going, okay? Stop talking about past. I stop people sometimes, man. I'm like, stop talking about what, if I, if whatever I did in 2012, dude, stop talking about it. I don't care, and it doesn't matter anymore. What do we do in 2022? What are we doing next month? What are we doing next year? That's how you win long term, okay? Listen, I'm going to say this, and I'm saying this because I care about everybody in this room. If you have plaques and trophies from five, six years ago, put them, in a, put them in a sock drawer, man. Stop looking at what you did. Be focused on what you're about to do. Yeah, for real, though. Okay? You know, you got to be, that's why I don't like Tom Brady, but you got to love Tom Brady because he's Tom Brady. What's your favorite Super Bowl, Tom? The next one. Nick Saban, the next, the next title. It's like, dude, you're the, you're the winningest coach in college football history. Tom Brady, you're the greatest player ever statistically. There's no argument here. Yeah, I'm focused on the next one. All right? That's how you win long term. Thank you for watching this video. For more exclusive content on how to be, do, and have anything you desire, make sure to subscribe to my channel. Click below for the next video. Let's go.